Welcome back. So today I am going to show you how I use my smartphone as a webcam on my computer. Um, I think that it's a really easy way if you don't have an expensive camera or you're starting out with YouTube like I am and you just want to start recording high quality video going into your computer. Something super easy, something super simple and more importantly, it's free, which is awesome. Um, so let's see how I do this. So first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna need to download an app on your phone. Uh, the one that I use that I recommend is called Irian. It's uh, I-R-U-I-N, Irian. I'll have a link in the description. And basically, yeah, you download it on your phone, install it, and once you install it over there, it's gonna tell you instructions after you open it up to go to their website. So let's do that. Let's hop over to their website now. So let's go over to Chrome and we're going to go to Arian's website right here. And if you notice, they have a application over here where you can download it for Windows, Mac, Ubuntu. Um, also, if you didn't have the link before, you can download it on Google Play or the Apple App Store. Um, right here, super simple, super easy. Now you've already got the application installed on your phone. You download the webcam application for your computer right here, easy peasy. I've already downloaded it and installed it for Mac, so you, you know you would click that. It's gonna download, Badoo. you run the installation wizard, you open it up, and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna open up their software. So I've got the Arian software right here, and there are two ways that you can connect your phone to the software using the app to the app on the computer. You could either use a USB cable or you could use Wi-Fi if you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Now, I like using a USB cable. I just find it more secure, uh, but I've tested it with Wi-Fi and I haven't run into really any problems, so use it at your own risk. But super easy, I mean, if you wanted to walk around and do a, you know, a home tour or something like that and you wanted to stream to any software, you, you could just do it really easy, one, two, three, with the Wi-Fi. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now, once you've got the application loaded on your phone, the application running on your computer, you open it up, this is gonna be what you see. So right here you can see I'm using my Google Pixel 6 and I've got a USB loaded. Now, with the software, you've got a whole bunch of different control that you can do here. Now, I did upgrade to the paid application, which does give you a little bit more control, um, but it's been a while that I've had it, so I don't remember exactly what you lose with the non-paid application. Basically, I don't use a lot of these features, so I upgraded to the paid version, but you could do whatever you want. Um, not recommending that you definitely do it, but check it out. Um, so the first thing is you can flip the camera, so you can choose which camera you wanna use. So you can do either your back camera, which is what I'm using now, or your front-facing camera. Now my front-facing camera is facing the screen, so you're just gonna see you know, my computer screen. Hello, mouse. Um, but I'm gonna flip that back over to my back camera and that's what you're gonna see now. So that is the back camera, which on the Google Pixel 6 I think is pretty darn good. Now you can also mute your microphone if you wanted to. Uh, you can turn your flash on. So ready, one, two, ah! It's pretty terrible, but it's an option if you don't have a light. So turn that off, because I do have a light. Um, you also can mirror your image. So right now I have it in the default mode. So if I turn to my right, you know, it's gonna be moving to the right in the video. If I have words or anything written up here, um, you'd be able to read it, but it can seem a little unnatural when you're starting out. You know, if I move to the right in my monitor, I'm gonna see myself moving to the left. It's a little weird. So you can actually flip it so that way everything is more normal for you as the creator. Um, I don't like doing this, so I'm gonna switch it back to how I have it normally. Um, but you do have that option. You can also manually adjust the ISO if you wanted to set it up however works best for you. And what they call the exposure time, but really I think it's the equivalent of the shutter speed. You can also just over, over uh, overwhelmingly control the exposure if you wanted to increase or decrease the exposure, make it lighter or darker, um, you know, uh, super bright or uh, super dark. Um, I just want to keep it right back at zero, keep it simple. Uh, you can also adjust the white balance, which I'm not going to do in here, just keep it simple, use the application. Now you do have an option to zoom in as well. I don't like zooming in through these applications because it's all digital anyway, so I'd rather zoom in in whatever application I'm either streaming to 
or uh, recording in or editing in, I'd rather keep as much information in the recording as possible. So that, that's just how I do it. Um, now this is pretty much set up right now as a webcam. My computer sees this as a webcam, so I can hop over to something like, let's look at OBS because that's what I'm using. Um, if you hop over to OBS, which I'm gonna show you actually now how to um, install, but if we hop over to, if you go to OBS Studio and you Google search that, go to obsproject.com and this is a free software that allows you to do live streaming recording all the stuff that you might need to do super simple easy you can download it for Windows Mac and Linux I have it already installed in Mac and then if I pop back over to OBS I can see that ah there's my lovely face right there hello handsome um, but if we go down over here I can actually choose a video device so if I click on the video device I can see that that is recording that. I can add another video device. So if we hop over to video capture device, I just don't want to mess up my thing, but over here I could choose Arian webcam, the FaceTime webcam, a whole bunch of different options. Uh, now the other thing that's really cool is this is just one software, but let's say I wanted to use Zoom, right? Everyone's using Zoom today, so let's hop over to Zoom. In Zoom, I can actually go to settings and video. And here it's already got my built-in webcam. Hello, webcam. But we don't want to use the webcam, right? We want to use our Erian. So we're going to swap back over there and boom goes the dynamite. Now we got our Erian software. And over here you do have the mirror my video as well. So we can actually get this all set up back to normal and get it all set up the way you like it. Um, this is pretty much my setup for recording video directly to the computer. Super simple if I wanted to do any kind of teleconferencing or anything like that. Just a super quick, easy, free way to use your phone's camera as a webcam as an alternative to you know what's built into the computer, which most of the time is not very good. So just a quick, easy tutorial and uh, enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and may gravity ever be in your favor. Have a good one.